Okay, I'll try to pick this ERA brass rim cylinder if we can. Do our best. Of course, we'll try rake first. No light tension. Try our best. Maybe try bottom of the keyway instead. Considering we are trying to rake it. Giving much feedback. Let's try this way, anyhow. Come on. Yeah. Yep, not really giving us anything out of that, so let us take the Try bar. Try to pick it. Okay. So, by the way, the brass you see on the side of the vice there is actually from filing a key into a tension wrench. It's not related. for a lever lock of course okay so we picked it anyway and while we're gutting it while we are gutting it, I am going to talk about two things. First thing is there's a new channel, Locksport channel called Lockmania, and he's only new. Go show him some support, as uh, I know this community does. And yeah, he picked open one of the round key tubular locks like they're not tubular locks pagoda locks like this one similar to this so that was his first video so that was awesome and he said to be doing more of those uh i'm yet to watch his third video but i uh, will and um yeah go check him out he's cool and uh yeah another thing is if you're interested in if you are interested in a rapid entry into locks and locking devices etc etc I recommend you go check out a channel with firefighters that they how they get into buildings with their irons and all that. Go to the channel's called it's called irons and ladders. Irons and ladders. And yeah, it'll educate you on just how strong you think your locking devices are, such as shutters, locks on your door, etc. And it's very interesting to see how they defeat different locking devices. One of my favorites they defeat is the the drop bars. So pretty cool and impressive stuff. And yeah, from that I learned that those mortar locks that you get in America that are um, 
that are screwed in, screw them in and you then apply a screw inside of the door there that holds it in place from getting it, stopping it from being unscrewed again. Well, they defeat those things really easily using two different techniques and one of them I was expecting which was the mole grips that some of us know thieves try and use to um, forcibly enter the, through those kinds of locks. They grab the mole grips on the outside of the lock and then they try and twist it, unscrew it. Sometimes though they're shielded and well the firefighters have their new well, not, not necessarily new, just a technique to defeat that as well and just, and just as quick. So yeah, if you're interested in learning something about your locks and your doors and stuff, it's pretty it's pretty cool. So there's nothing inside there because it is a stock lock. But I have another idea for um, for a challenge lock. I think thinking of. And uh, the lock itself would have those little balls in it again. So that should be good. Just an idea, maybe I'll I'll do it. I'll make that challenge lock or attempt to make one like that as time goes on, but I have to forget the time because we have we have um, our work and life to take care of, so I have to make time for everything. Try and balance everything out. So far these pins are all standard. Wouldn't surprise me if they are all standard because they are don't think there are any security pins in here because these locks can normally be raked open in the field uh -huh. okay so all the pins are standard pins and all the springs are these copper springs and inside there inside there is nothing other than smooth chambers yeah but yeah I've got an idea for um, adding undercuts or um, relief cuts into something like this so I'll have to wait. You have to wait and see what my idea is if I decide to go ahead with it. <laughs> but uh, it would definitely complement the little ball bearing, linked ball bearings inside of a challenge lock, and <sighs> make it much more difficult. So we we'll just have these fairly nice, fairly nice little standard pins. As you can see, nothing fantastic. So, yeah, if we could in, if we could improve one thing about this rim cylinder, I would suggest the RA put at least some a couple spools in there. Other than that, that's that's it. Thanks.